Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J. Judah. And as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we are trying Doritos, ketchup and mustard, hot mustard to be exact, and tangy ketchup. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh my goodness, but before we get to that, um, I just want to tell you a little story. ASMR. I apologize. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you a little story. So when my sister Lara and I were younger, we, our parents got us two that I remember. Lara, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on this, but two gifts that were in red and yellow. Ironically. Ironically? I don't know. Is it ironic? Never mind. Anyways. As I move along, we got two distinct items that were in red and yellow. No, I did not plan on wearing a red shirt. It just it organically happened. Beside the point. So, mm, I don't remember how old was. Lara wasn't even a teenager, and she's four years older than me. So, we were fairly young. Preteen kid. And we got gumball machines, one red and one yellow. And Lara, I believe, got the red one and I got the yellow one. And then a few years in the future, a few years later, I should say, we got two more items that were red and yellow that were identical items. And it was a 10-speed um, bike. And I believe this time I got the red one and Lara got the yellow one, but I could totally be wrong. I don't know. Lara, correct me if I am. Uh, but needless to say, we had this red and yellow thing going on growing up. And Lara actually leans toward ketchup and I lean toward mustard. So much so that I ate mustard sandwiches. And they are exactly what you think they are. <laughs> Bread and mustard. And that's it. Uh, but I didn't use ketchup on anything. I'll eat ketchup if it's already on, say, like a restaurant hamburger or meatloaf. Something that it's already on, I'll eat ketchup. But otherwise, I don't eat ketchup. Not a fan. Although I put mustard on just about everything. Sandwiches, not just mustard. Uh, I put it on hot dogs. I put it in, on macaroni and cheese. Whereas other people use ketchup for macaroni and cheese. I definitely don't put it on my eggs. I don't put mustard on my eggs either, but again, besides the point. Oh, and <laughs> funnily enough, or could this be ironic, Daryl, my husband, has... A mustard story as well. But if you want to hear that story, you're going to have to join us tonight. What is today? Oh my gosh, I forgot what today was. Hold on. What's okay? Sorry about that. My brain. Anyways, it's Saturday, June 29th. And if you want to hear Daryl's story, you'll have to come back tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time for our live show. And I'll either have Daryl or his mom tell the story. But getting back to today's video, or this video, not the live. So I'm going to try the Doritos hot mustard and tangy ketchup chips in two ways. I'm gonna, of course, eat them by themselves. And then I figured I would do the Gen X thing and fix a sandwich and eat it with my bologna and cheese sandwich. So, <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I really am. Yeah, this is, this is nerve wracking. I don't want to do it. I don't want to, I don't want to, no, I don't. Trigger warning? I don't know. I just, it says it's sweet and tangy. Another level of sweet, tangy crunch is what it says on the back. 
There we go. And then the mustard is another le level of bold zingy crunch. There you go. I will save mustard for last because because I don't I don't like ketchup and I don't want it to be the last thing in my mouth. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. sanitizer on and then immediately put it to your nose and you just can't stop doing it okay okay it's getting better it's getting better it's, it's not as bad and it's surprisingly not as red as I thought it was gonna be it looks actually like a regular Dorito here we go I don't really Oh, there's the other side. A little redder. But I really don't want to eat this. <laughs> the struggle is real. It doesn't smell as bad. I, I it I'm starting to really smell the chip itself, the the corn chip. I am shaking you guys like Why? Okay. All right. Here we go. No, we aren't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please don't be as bad. Please, please just don't be. As... Oh, no, that's bad. No, it could be good. It tastes just like ketchup. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so bad. Why is that so bad? Oh, that, um, it's tangy. That's for sure. And it tastes just like ketchup. Oh, that's so wrong. I would not put ketchup on my corn chips. Doritos did. No. No, I don't, I don't Why do I keep eating it? Okay. Please. No. Come on, mustard. Be my saving grace. Get it open. Oh, there we go. I'm almost afraid. I just smell corn chips. Like, seriously, I don't smell... I don't smell mustard. And they, they look like naked Doritos. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, that's it. It just looks like a Dorito that hasn't had, although I can feel it, I can feel the powder, but that's it. It looks like a naked Dorito. And I, it really doesn't have an odor. I smell the corn chips. That one's hot. So it's got flames on it. There you go. So it is legitimately a hot mustard, but that's not bad. Mmm. So much better. Although if you like ketchup, you might like you might like the ketchup Doritos because they taste just like ketchup. 
So a lot of people will mix ketchup and mustard together to make a sauce, right? I don't do that. Never have. Maybe I should try it someday, but I'm going to try it now <laughs> in chip form. Okay. Yeah, no. I like ketchup in things, not as a standalone. And not as a ketchup and mustard sauce. Although it is kind of growing. Yeah, I definitely won't eat them by themselves. Ooh. Oh, I need to make, not today, but I need to make mac and cheese and crumble them up on top of the mac and cheese. Now that might be good. That might be good. All right, now I'm gonna go make my sandwich. I will be right back and then we will try chips in a sandwich. <laughs> All right, I am back. I have my sandwich here. Using my grandma's plates from back in the day. There we go. Aren't they cute? I love these plates. I forget I forget what they're they're called. Lara will say or my mom will say what they are in the comments. <laughs> I know it starts with an N or at least I Never mind. Never mind. Going off on a tangent. Anyways, I have my sandwich. It's just a simple bologna and cheese sandwich. I have one layer of, or one slice of bologna, one slice of cheese. And as you can see, I have mayonnaise and that is all. I didn't put anything else. Oh, and question. How do you slice your sandwiches? Are you on the diagonal? Or do you slice it rectangular. Do you do top to bottom or side to side? That is the other question. I clearly do diagonal. However, I have done top to bottom as well. So now we're going to take our Doritos and put them in between the layer uh, or the slices of cheese and bologna. <laughs> yep. Just like so. Put the top layer on. Woo. Oh, it didn't crunch. Barely. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's do the ketchup side first, because I don't like ketchup. I almost did the mustard first. Let's see. There's a good one. There's a good one. All right. Put that on top. And kind of crunch. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting, I am making a mess here. Bottoms up. <laughs> I don't like the idea of putting ketchup in a sandwich, but I mean, for the chip factor, I guess. Ugh, okay. No. <laughs> I was thinking it's not as bad. It is just as bad. I really don't like ketchup.
No. No. That is a hard no. Alright, here's the mustard. That's actually really good. I mean, not surprisingly. What is surprising is the sandwich cuts the burn, which it's not really, I feel like I have, I should have got a napkin. Oh, well. It's not really hot. You know how, okay, when I went to go make my sandwich, I still had that tingly feeling on my tongue that hot things tend to present as a mouthfeel, but it wasn't on fire. Does that make sense? So I could still feel that tingly sensation, but it wasn't burning my mouth. And eating it in the sandwich, I don't even get that tingling sensation. It literally cuts the burn. So it's no longer hot. And for me, this would be basically a regular bologna and cheese sandwich with mayonnaise and mustard. It just so happens to have a little bit of crunch. Mm. Oh, yes. Much better. Am I going to finish my sandwich? Yes, I will. Not on camera, but yes, I will. Am I going to finish the side that has the ketchup? I will inhale it so fast that I won't taste it. There you go. I will finish it. And I will finish it with the ketchup Doritos. But let me put that aside. So you have just witnessed me tasting in two ways the ketchup and mustard Doritos. If you like ketchup, please, this is just my opinion and only my opinion. I have an aversion to ketchup. It was going to be a no. It was a no from before I first saw them, but I had to do it. I had to do it. Will I get the mustard ones again? Actually, you know what? They're not bad. They taste pretty good. I like mustard. Ruffles has a extra crunchy um, honey mustard chip. And I actually, I'll be honest, I was not a fan. And I'm not sure why, but that being said, I really do like these. I will probably finish this bag. I'm not sure who's going to finish the, the, the ketchup bag. We'll see. Maybe I'll say like in the future. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button and if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. I hope you have a really great day and hopefully I'll see you tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time for our bi-weekly live stream. Today, June 29th, hope to see you there. Have a great day. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys. Okay, that was just bad. That was, the ketchup was horrible. Oh my gosh.